What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, me I'm doing great, thanks for asking. So, I thought I could do some commentary on Mr. Nii himself, versus Arslan himself, the god killer, grand finals evo. So surprising seeing, seeing Nii pick Kazuya. I gotta say, when I saw this, I thought like, oh, Nii must be very desperate, he's tried everyone else, like uh, Steve, Devilgin, uh, Geese, Paul. Insert the character, he's tried the character versus Arslan, but nothing's working. Then he picks Kazuya, everyone goes super hype at the arena, I mean, I'm thrilled seeing Nii play my main character, he's so good with him. One of the best Kazuyas for sure. Uh, but uh, first thought was desperate, but second thought was... Oh, maybe it's because uh, he knows Boa surprised um, Arslan with his Kazuya going 50-50 Whirlwind vortex, vortex, you know, going for a lot of Hell Sweeps, 50-50, just catching Arslan completely off guard. Arslan did not expect that. So I was thinking, maybe that's what Nii's gonna try. Maybe Nii knows, like, he can't play as safe as he always does. Maybe he's gonna go batshit crazy. But that's not at all what he did. He actually plays a super <laughs> safe, a very knee Kazuya. Very safe, fundamental. Uh, but what I saw was that, oh, I think he, he's trying to use the forward role of Kazuya to crush, you, you know how uh, Arslan plays Kazumi? Very strict and safe with the pokes, jab and downward one. I thought knee was actually trying to use Kazuya's Full crouch from troll, down for 3-4, to, to have a safe-ish way of getting in on Arslan and hopefully crush those keep out jabs and maybe even down for 1 to get that knockdown into forward forward 4. Just a way to get in on him. As you can see he'll be using it quite a bit but that was a wonderful sidestep by Arslan. But that's what I think his plan was. Amazing rage drive, amazing rage drive. Um, but again, just uh, incredible to see him play uh, Kazuya. Um, but uh, he won't be throwing any electrics. I remember him, uh, he just keeps it so safe. As you can see, uh, good option versus uh, Kazumi, actually. Uh, I, I think. Um, so... Um, and a lot of people say uh, they find it boring to see Arslan play. Like, oh, he plays it so safe with Kazumi, oh, it's so dull. But, I mean, to me, it's just beautiful to watch the incredible defense and movement. And the lightning fast uh, decisions he makes that are very smart. He just He's so quick on his feet when it comes to uh, the strategy and uh, thinking of solutions and stuff. And uh, the perfect punish. He fucking never misses a punish. Yeah. And the reads he has on players. Just rewatch the match versus Anakin where Anakin of course with Jack wants to go to, for those uh, Damek ones or full crouch Damek ones, you know, the, the incredibly powerful low poke Jack has and Arslan with the low parry every single damn time, like, it's, it's like he's in Anakin's head, living there rent free and you can just see prior to Anakin committing to something, Arslan's already there. I can see that commitment in Anakin's uh, gameplay, you know, where, he, where he's gonna go next. Always two steps ahead. Um, that's what's so beautiful to witness when you see Arslan play. Like how he just knows almost all the time what the opponent's gonna do. So, uh, let's go into some more detailed commentary here, but I just wanted to get that out there because uh, that's some interesting stuff overall I would see from Arslan and this match. A knee picking Kazuya, you know, he wants a very safe way of getting in on Arslan to dodge those jabs and down for once. Just a beautiful combo, everyone shit themselves simultaneously in the arena, like literally everyone was uh, sweating in this match. Uh, Saw it as desperate uh, knee picking Kazuya, but you saw how well he did, and with a very reserved play style, uh, playing very safe. But then, when he wanted to go in, placing very well those forward rolls, and you saw how well it worked out for him. I mean, a couple of times he get pu he got punished and sidestepped, but many times it worked out very well. 
Um, but also interesting what I want to say is that a few days prior to EVO, Mr. Naps, Jimmy, he beat Arslan. Playing Brian Schritt was a very close fight, could have gone to anyone. But considering Arslan looked what was completely unstoppable at EVO, not losing a single set, the fact that Jimmy beat him, kind of a big deal. Who did he beat him with? Brian. Who else do you know has a god like Brian? Knee. But I've never seen Knee play. I mean, you, you haven't seen Knee play Brian in a million years. Uh, and I, I don't know, like, he's never played him versus Arslan, and I guess he doesn't feel confident playing Brian versus Arslan, but Naps made it work. And you could, of course, argue that Naps is the best Brian player in the world, I would say so, but is Nia a scrub with Brian? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Uh, he's, what, second best? Or you could argue he's the best Brian in the world? I guess it depends on the way you look at it and Brian, because they're, they're, they have very different playstyles. Uh, Nia, every character he plays, plays very solid, never overextends. Never parties, just pl plays extremely solid and fundamental. Whereas Naps has that aspect to his Brian, but he also has a little bit more of that party vibe with very creative setups and um, unorthodox uses of Ryan's uh, tool bag. Um, so maybe that's what's that, maybe that's what's needed, you know, versus uh, Arslan. And again, you know, Boa with Kazia. Again, that forward roll getting the job done here. Uh, but Boa, you know, with the crazy mix-up, uh, crazy 50-50. And uh, we're gonna see uh, actually Ni go with Devil Jin, and suddenly for the first time you're gonna see him soon versus Arslan, actually utilizing the house sweeps quite a bit. Uh, perhaps realizing or at least attempting, you know, something different. Okay, I'm trying to play very fundamental and safe versus Arslan, but guess what? I think he's doing that better than me. He's doing that better than me. So I, I gotta mix it up. I gotta, I, I have to try something else here. So I'm gonna try and commit more to bigger risk moves. Um, so you'll see that with Double Chin. Uh, but again, here, you know, it's up to one here. So, uh, Suddenly, the Kazuya pick is look, looking extremely worthwhile. So both playing very cautious here. Oh, big whiff. Uncharacteristic power crush whiff there by Arslan. Nice one running two. One running two again. But Ni knows not to stress his uh, get up there. He stays on the ground. This is going to hurt a lot. One, two. What's for wake up? Nice block. Big electric. Rage drive. Times it for 60%, huge damage. Big electric there for breakfast, of course. Uh, Devil Kazia, electric is mid, minus six on block. But uh, yeah, Arslan was ducking, perhaps, perhaps expecting a hell sweep. Uh, or he got counter hit, who knows. He got knocked the fuck out at least by that electric, and Ni could close it out. Uh, beautiful match there with Kazia. And of course, Kazuya's comeback factor does not have to be detailed. I'm hoping you've probably seen that Rage Drive before. Especially on walls, if you delay it and hit them in the head with that 60% hit, you know, on the low wall splat, it does 45 damage on its own. And then you're double Kazuya and they're lying face down on the ground and they have to try and stand up. It's, uh, it's devastating, that Rage Drive. Um, it's okay, we are 1-1 here, super hype. Uh, many times in the finals we would see this stage here, Infinite Azure, and uh, my god did it please Tasty Steve. He would come every time, and so did we all. I'd like to see some sunshine on this stage uh, at, at some point. Maybe we could update it. I know it's beautiful like this, but... It'd be nice to have the sun, you know, really full blast. Ford Ford 3 is blocked. <laughs> Ford Ford 4. Like mother, like son. It was very rare to see uh, Nee throw out electrics. 
for Kazumi. Again, backing up spacing. Red stuff. And look at that. Perfect. Perfect side. Um, he actually commits to a hell sweep. And of course, perfect sidestep by Arslan. Arslan's defensive play is so incredibly solid, but. Uh, it's just it's such a heartbreak that we don't have uh, on video the set between him and Boa. You see how Boa could stress him out with those hell sweeps. Because seeing Arslan's movement, it's like it's so hard to see that anyone could get the jump on him like that. But yeah, if anyone can do that, it's probably Boa. So aggressive. See how much it works out that forward roll. To try and get in on Arslan's Kazumi that relies so much on jabs. Maybe no coincidence that the final hit that uh, Naps used on Arslan to close out their set to get the final win was uh, a high crushing attack into a crouch into another high crushing attack, the Northern Cross. Uh, he was, Arslan was trying to check with double jab, 1-1, one, one, and Naps probably knew that and crushed him with the Northern Cross. Uh, so just beautiful. And yeah, uh, getting stomped there, uh, Arslan adjusts very well. And now I believe Ni kind of gives up on going for, forward with um, Kazuya because he has to win now. I mean, you but see the, the sweat team, there, I mean, he has to be, like he's been waiting for this Perplexed moment for so long, trying to research Arslan, he knew it was a, it was probably a given, but it was, it was good chance of him being, if he was in grand finals, it was going to be versus Arslan. So now, okay, Kazia, yeah, it worked well, we got 1-1, one, one, but now he got the download, so let's see if we can go Devil Jin. Uh, he's really struggled with Devil Jin uh, in prior matches, historically, prior tournaments. Um, but uh, now what you're going to see is that he's going to play a much more aggressive and risky Devil Jin. He's still gonna be knee, but suddenly he's throwing a lot of hell sweeps. Um, and that's something he typically does not do and uh, prior attempts at playing double gym versus Arslan, no hell sweeps. Just plays incredibly clean. Okay, so 2-1 here. He really needs the win here. Arslan only needs one more match to become the EVO 2019 champion. And again, just... Uh, Evo champion Arslan, uh, Las Vegas champion Arslan. Jesus Christ, total domination. Perfect sidestep on 442. He's getting blown out. And it's not like that move is perfectly homing to one side, but usually you step it towards the right with forward forward two. But Arslan does an enormous sidestep and steps it towards the left, which is of course the natural way of stepping a Mishima. But of course Devil Jin has a lot of moves that tracks to his weak side, like forward forward two and while stunning two in particular. Just like you said, you have to be ready. And that's just unfortunate because now he is put in a very bad position right now. Nice punish. Kazumi while standing 4-4, four, four, like, has to be the best 11 frame while standing punish in the game. I mean, what is it, like, plus 8 at least? No, it's, pl it, it's more plus, I think. It does very good damage. One round! I mean, the story here is just this guy cannot be stopped. So here, like, uh, Arslan needs one more round. Everyone has pretty much given up at this point uh, on uh, Ni getting a comeback here. It, it, Ni Arslan just looked so dominating that, you know. Here, to me at least, watching it live, it was just a given that, okay. Uh, would have wanted a more uh, competitive Grand Finals, but uh, Ni needed a great job. 
But here, actually, yeah. That felt really nice, seeing me get that round. I mean, there were a lot of 1 plus 2 breaks that uh, Arsan wasn't getting. Nice duck sir by me. Man, look at this. Unbelievable. He went for the wild stunning too, which would have caught or caught or slam if he would have tried to sidestep left, but he just blocked it. He didn't backdash, he didn't sidestep, he didn't crouch, he just blocked it. Such <laughs> great reads. Twenty seconds left. Rage becoming a factor any moment. Oh big whiff there, but no punish. Again, no break on the one plus two. That was so weird to see, considering his perfect defense. So hype, so clutch. And our final round here in this game. Arslan still on set points to become EVO champion, but Nee's bringing it back. Nice block on one and two. Huge low parry. This is gonna be wall. Follow up one to back four. What's for breakfast? Up for four is blocked. Hell sweep. There we go. Channeling the vortex. Nice punish. I'll send four four. Nice punish. Awesome. Everyone. I mean, he. Uh, let's oh, out a sigh of relief oh, and everyone that had that face, me, me included. So happy to see that. So happy to see that knee answers back and this is not gonna be free for you, Arslan. And with a character where he's had a lot of difficulty versus Arslan before, he goes with Devil Jin and gets the job done there. And look at him how stressed he is. But I mean, yeah, you would be stressed. I would be stressed just standing there. If you ever go to EVO, and those of you who've been there, you know what I'm talking about. There's a huge arena. The scene is huge. Uh, no, the stage, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's going to be stressful just being up there and having all of those eyes on you. Uh, stressful. And uh, I think 250,000 people were watching this stream. I mean, that's a Tekken record by, by a mile. So, uh, super hype. Super hype EVO Finals. So, now every on everyone's mind is... <coughs> can he get one more match to reset the bracket? Nice combo. 2, 4, 3, 4, wall. 1, 2, back 4. Can he get some Oki now? Goes for the Hell Sweep. Still has the mindset of trying to go crazy here, but it's blocked by Arslan. Back four. Oh, again! No mix up, mix up there. Okay, so another wake up situation at wall. I'm gonna do Hell Sweep again. He's not gonna expect me to do that twice. But Arslan, I, already, it's like he's uh, adjusted to like, okay, uh, he's gonna try and go crazy on me. I'm not gonna have a crazy. I'm actually gonna block low again. So, again. Just figures out immediately. And he's gonna go for the no mix up, mix up party. Green rank. But. So, yeah, unfortunately, Arslan had the perfect reads there and gets the first round of this super important final match where we decide if we're gonna get a reset or not. This is gonna be wall again. Nice combo there, back four. He stays on the ground. He won't take the vortex. Trade, bad trade for Nebo. Gets knocked down. Nice docks. Plays very safe, Nee. While standing two again, Arslan with the read. One, one, two, knockdown. Arslan with a pretty decent life lead, and that's while standing for four again. One of the best while standing 11 frame punishes in the game. Um, so, yeah, Arslan up two rounds here, only needs that final round, and it's looking very difficult here. 
already uh, knee down at 60% health. Arslan chopping away here with clear momentum going into this final round. Jabs and down forward one, characteristic of Arslan here. Very safely chopping down knee's health bar. Keeping it extremely safe. Incredible movement there, working towards the left as you do versus Mishima's. As he's keeping up pressure. Nice punish. Oh, huge whiff punish. It's looking so bad here for Nick. He needs that launch. He just needs the launch. He's in rage. 1-1. One, one. One, uh, he's getting pressured. Up four. Unfortunately, did not crush. And perfect sidestep on the electric. And Arslan is your EVO champion. The first ever to win back-to-back -back EVO Japan and then the main EVO tournament. What an incredible performance. Lost to no one. Didn't lose a single set in the tournament. 1900 players. No one can win versus him. It's, uh, it's just incredible. Uh, Huge congrats to Arslan for proving yet again that he's uh, not only the brightest new star in the Tekken universe, but the most dominant, the strongest player. Um, what an emotional moment that has to be. Beautiful moment, takes a prayer, uh, goes for a prayer on the main stage, uh, that, uh, you know, immediately that becomes an iconic uh, evil moment. Very humble win here. No massive popping off with gangster poses, uh, only tears of happiness and a prayer. Like, yeah. Uh, just beautiful. So uh, yeah, I wanted to do commentary on this. What an emotional moment, powerful moment, and uh, just uh, uh, to uh, quote someone, and you know who it is, just good ass Tekken. Incredible matches. So I hope you all enjoyed EVO, I sure as hell did, and as I said in my EVO experience review, please, if you ever have the opportunity, go to EVO, go next year, because Seeing this on a stream, it's cool. Seeing it live in that arena, it's like nothing else. And you will understand what I'm saying when you are there in person. So uh, thanks for watching and have a lovely day.